Introduction to Accounting Setup Manager. Now, majority of the setup steps that I have shown you in the previous movie can be done via the Accounting Setup Manager with the exception of defining the business group and legal jurisdiction. So the business group is something that is defined in human resources module and legal jurisdictions and authorities are something which are defined in Oracle eBusiness tax module. Whereas defining legal entities, defining reporting structures, ledgers, accounting configurations, these four steps can be done using Accounting Setup Manager. In terms of defining the business units and reporting structure and chart of accounts, these three steps are separately done. So let's go through the Accounting Setup Manager. So I'm going to go to the login page and I'm going to use the demonstration user called as operations, password welcome, and then hit the login button. And then I'm going to go to a responsibility general ledger vision operations USA. And then I will go to setup and then accounts or oh, sorry setup and then financials accounting setup manager and then accounting setups. So that opens the accounting setup manager as you could see here the setup steps are also depicted over here first step is create the accounting structure second step is define accounting options and the third step is complete the accounting setup so hit this button create accounting setup to start your accounting setup which is where you start by creating a legal entity in the system So at this time, I'm not going to do this because this setup and its associated details are something I have covered in a separate movie. But once you have defined your legal entity, then the second step is you define your accounting representations and you save your accounting structure. So what we will do is we'll pull an existing ledger, which is where I'm going to show you the information that goes into your accounting setups going forward. Anyway, this is your accounting setup manager and if you would like to pull any previously defined ledger, you can pull it over here like this and you can always go on to update mode to review the setups that goes in it. So look at this. You have associated multiple legal entities to one ledger and then these are the primary ledger and then you've got the reporting currencies ledger and then you've assigned the balancing segment value to legal entity and operating units to your primary ledger and then any other intercompany setups and associated accounting configuration goes into here. The secondary ledger related setup goes as well as long as you've got a requirement to set up a secondary ledger associated with your primary ledger. Mm -hmm.